If you're looking for the cheapest place to buy coins, you need to head over to MMOXP right now. Use Code Wolf for 5% off and get your coins today. Link is in the description. Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, just minutes ago, they released a title update for Madden 20. Now, I haven't gone over it yet, but I'm assuming because I've been hearing rumors is that they nerfed the run game, okay? They added abilities and removed abilities and X-Factors from players that aren't performing well and replaced them with players that are performing well. So I don't know about all this. We're gonna dig right into it. I will put a link in the description if you guys wanna go check out the patch notes yourself. Make sure you drop a like on the video right now, man. If you don't mind, let's try to get this one here to at least 200 likes. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Xbox tourney's going down this Saturday. Cash prizes for first place winner. Uh, I will be, members, I will be posting the link to sign up for the tournament in the community section. So stay tuned for that. It's going to go up today. So be ready, homies. All right. Okay. So they released these patch notes. We're just going to go over them. Uh, like I said, I will put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. But let's dig right into it. So the key highlights, new X Factor players, Vikings, Dalvin Cook, replacing Chargers running back Melvin Gordon. His X Factor is going to be first one free and his superstar ability is going to be jukebox inside zone guru. Uh, Packers cornerback Jair Alexander replacing Steelers QB Ben Roethlisberger. He's going to get the shutdown X Factor and man up an acrobat as far as superstar ability. So running man defense with the Packers seems to be legit. Although I will not be using the Packers in any of my online head to head games at this moment. It's still cool for people that want to use that team. The Chiefs DT Chris Jones replacing Panthers QB Cam Newton. X Factor Fearmonger and Superstar Abilities is Power Move Specialist and Under Pressure. So the Chiefs could be a good team defensively depending on who you're playing. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have the Tyreek Hill with the Mahomes uh, combination with the Chiefs. May I may have to do some gameplay with the Chiefs to be honest with you guys. Because if they do nerf the run game in this patch, we're going to get down into the gameplay updates. Then I'm going to have to use a very good passing team. And who, who better besides the Patriots and the Chiefs like right now at this moment? Is there anybody else that, that you guys would use? Put that in the comments below if you don't mind. Uh, updated superstar players Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup now I'm I'm going back and forth on my screen to make sure that it's aligning right for you guys on your screen so you guys can keep up with what I'm reading I don't want to leave y'all behind and, and you can't see it okay Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup gets the cross route specialist Titans uh, Kevin Byer pick artist Buccaneers Shaquille Barrett Ed's rush elite which is pretty cool if you want to use the Buccaneers Packers DT Kenny Clark is the inside stuff. I don't know, man. They're making Packers seem a little legit on the defensive side. I'm not going to lie. Falcons middle linebacker Deion Jones, the lurker, which is pretty good. I mean, Falcons, a lot of people use Falcons online. I'm not going to lie. Chargers running back Melvin Gordon downgraded from X Factor to Superstar Jukebox. Steelers down, uh, Ben Roethlisberger downgraded from X Factor to Superstar Sleight of Hand. Downgraded Superstar and X Factor players no longer equipped with any abilities. So these guys have been downgraded and no longer. So they removed the abilities from this next set of people. Uh, Leighton Van Der Esch from the Cowboys, Cam Newton, Stefan Diggs, Marshawn Lattimore, Tariq Cohen, and Baker Mayfield. So they'll be reshuffling as part of their ongoing continuous development plan to keep the rosters and players as up to date as possible with the events of the NFL season. All right, so that's cool. Okay, so they did drop some new abilities uh, for you guys and just stuff to help break the game a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Protective custody. Ball carriers with this ability are immune to fumbling when in the zone. Ultimate team requirements available as a zone ability for running backs only. And then they have Mossed. Inspired by ultimate team legend Randy Moss when players with this ability into the zone, they will win contested catches regardless of coverage on passes of 50 yards or more. But does fall back to ratings formula when countered by... Wait, wait, when countered bypass coverage abilities. Okay, so I see what they're saying. As long as you have someone with an ability on someone that has that X factor or that ability, you'll be all right. So if someone gets in the zone and you have someone with a counter, you're probably going to be able to stop them. Now, I don't know if, I'm, if I got that right. It's just too many Pokemon things going on right now in this game. I, I can't keep up. All right, man, my, my, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating on my forehead, okay? Got the tissue. I'm rubbing my forehead, man. New superstar abilities, Lumberjack, defensive ability preventing broken tackles and can cause fumbles when using cut stick tackles. Out my way, defensive ability that always wins versus impact block attempts versus wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs. Goal line stuff, uh, defensive ability allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one run blocks within five yards of the goal line. Okay, okay. 
Inside stuff, defensive ability, allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one run blocks on inside running plays. No outsiders, defensive ability, allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one run blocks and outside running plays. And then Tank, inspired by ultimate team, Rob Gronkowski, ball carries with this ability, break all hit stick tackles, but does fall back to Radius Formula when countered by Enforcer. This ability is only available for tight ends inside of ultimate team. So if you're using your tight end a lot, Tank is probably something that you want to use but once ever, whenever you face uh, Pat Tillman with the enforcer ability, you're gonna get tackled. But if they don't have the, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what, what are they doing? Are we nerfing the run game or making it stronger? I'm hoping we're nerfing the run game because right now it doesn't look good. Okay, but I could be wrong. Let's let's keep it going. Franchise updates: fix an issue causing all players from a downloaded draft class to file to appear as early first rounder in the scout college players. Players will only see this fix when importing a new file or re-importing the same draft class file. The fix activates when the import is processed, so existing leagues will have to make sure to import before it will take effect. Okay, so I don't play franchise. You guys have been on my channel. I don't really play franchise. So if you know a good YouTuber that plays franchise that people that play franchise can check out, put in the comments below, man. I, I mean, I'm all for showing love to people that create different type of content on Madden. So any franchise YouTubers, man, put them in the comments so people can check it out. Fix an issue causing league's injury records to be deleted when toggling off the pre-existing injury league setting during the season. This option is now only available during league creation. Fix an issue with the menu when creating a new cloud franchise league using real life rosters and navigating the choose week menu. Improved advanced week loading times in offline leagues when the league has multiple characters. Fix an issue multi-user leagues where menus would persist when another user advanced the week. Added a warning for coaches about safe settings with, uh, okay, I'm going to put the link in the description for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get down to the gameplay. What did they do to the gameplay? Okay, so they did presentation updates, various commentary updates. I swear, if I still hear that guy say, hit him out in the flat, that the same thing I've been hearing since Madden 15, I'm flipping a table over, bro. Like, real quick. Updated Buccaneers defensive starting lineup presentation to reflect 3-4 defense rather than 4-3. So now you're going to have the 3-4 in the, in the Buccaneers uh, playbook, I want to say. Am, am I wrong or right? Updated coach tip for the ball carrier give up mechanic. All right. Gameplay update, homies. Reintroduce stumbling for ball carriers in specific situations. We have re-enabled the functionality that causes ball carriers to stumble when running into traffic in specific situations. We have isolated stumbling to situations where they are necessary, but we'll continue to monitor and take feedback around more situations that may require ball carrier stumbles so stumbles in traffic you know how whenever you're running into like your o-line and then like a whole bunch of people just standing around just all rubbing on each other and nothing's happening and then with your running back he never stumbled he just you could just uh wiggle around them and then slide by everybody and then take off for the end zone i want to i want to say that they're going to add stumbling for that situation right there that's what i'm thinking so tuning to reduce the frequency of auto broken tackles versus AI controlled and user controlled defenders when using conservative tackle on competitive game style. So my tip to you guys is not to actually be using aggressive tackle, but use a, a conservative tackle. That's going to help you slow down the run game. And sometimes when I play my games, I, I don't even change it. I leave it on regular. And that's a very crucial thing. If you're playing against someone that's running heavy on you, Use conservative, trust me, and then run 3-4 odd, 3-4 bear. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, all right? Okay, so this tuning will, will significantly decrease the frequency of ratings brace broken tackles on competitive game style with an even lower chance of a broken if the conservative tackles be being performed by a user controlled defender. Conservative tackles can be used via the mechanic and or by running into the ball carrier to initiate a tackle interaction. All right. So tuning to prevent auto broken tackles when the ball carrier is using the cover ball mechanic on competitive game style. Okay, so well, now that you're using the ball where, where you're pressing RB or R1 to secure the ball, you, you won't be able to break a lot of tackles no more. Now, now you're gonna go down, pretty much is what they're saying. Tuning to prevent the ball carrier from running, retaining top speed while using the cover ball mechanic on competitive game style. People complained on kickoff returns that whenever you did a kickoff return, you could just hold RBR one and then try to score an in, a, a touchdown because you're keeping the same speed going up the field. So their logic behind it, and, and I agree, is that you should lose speed whenever you're using both arms to cover the ball. You shouldn't be able to, you know, fly at your top speed while holding that, holding the ball that way. So. I think that's pretty cool. I think they needed to do that. 
I'm going to be uh, just calling fair catch in the end zone in a lot. You know, I'm just going to get the touch back on some of my kickoff returns or I'm going to go down. OK, because if it's slow, I'm not trying to run that. All right. We got to test it. I'll do some gameplay probably later today or tomorrow. All right. Added functionality to receiver zone abilities. Rack them up, double me and max security so that they will beat the press burst man coverage when in the zone. Now you have to be in the zone for those things to work. So don't rely on something like that. It's cool to have, but don't rely on something like that. You're going to need to find other ways to get around it, man. I'm telling you guys right now. Tuning to slightly increase block shed speed for the run stuff or zone ability when in the zone. Again, that's something that if you have the X factor on and you're lit up, uh, you'll have increased block shed against the run. Tuning to reduce situations where AI control players are allowed to cause fumbles on competitive game style. This is huge, homies. Because, well, I'm sure they're gonna say it right here. Because based on player feedback, Madden players have expressed that AI controlled defenders can have too much of an impact on the outcome of games when they can cause fumbles as frequently as user controlled defenders. This tuning change will significantly decrease the chances of AI defenders forcing fumbles on competitive game style, but does not apply when tackling scramble QB. So scrambling QBs, you're still weak regardless. But if you're playing and you're on defense and you have someone that like has enforcer and you click off of them so they can make the tackle, you're not going to get a fumble. You're not going to get a big hitter fumble. You're not going to get none of that no more. You're going to have to get the big hitter fumble. You're going to have to use a control Tillman. You're going to have to hit stick. That's what I'm getting from this right here. And if that is true, this is huge. It's game changing because now it's going to be dependent on the user for causing fumbles, which to me, I think it should, it should have been that way from the jump. You know what I'm saying? I think user the interception should be that way. I think fumbles should be that way. That, that's just me. I don't know. I don't, if you guys agree, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, let me know why you disagree. Fixed an issue that prevented the offense from snapping the ball with the player in motion while the defense was resetting the play. That happens to me a lot of the times. That happens to me, but I'm going to test that now. I'm going to test it with my tight offset tight end scheme and see, see what I can get done with that. Fixed an issue allowing inaccurate sky kickoffs near the sideline to be frequently recovered by the kicking team. This is huge, especially people on ultimate team. They just nerfed or took away the scum kick. So people are going to have to figure out how to do something else. Uh, I think that's great. I think they, you know, because a lot, I may have faced it one time, but I don't play a lot of head to head, like in ultimate team, at least I don't really run or run across this in regs because the kickers are awesome, man. It's very, I think it's harder to do scum kicks in, in regs than it is an ultimate team. I don't know. Tuning to fix an issue with uh, Steelers, Roethlisberger, short and medium pass animations to the left. Fix an issue sometimes causing a player to freeze on the ground after getting tackled by the feet. Fixed an issue, I've seen that before, when you get tackled by the feet and you're frozen on the ground. Fixed an issue allowing an AI controlled defender to make an interception versus the gambler ability in a specific multiplayer cat situation. Uh, I really don't see anyone getting gambler against me or nothing like that. I don't, I don't ever have that issue. For people that do, I guess it's good for you, but I, I don't really have that issue. Fix an issue sometimes causing the kickoff animation to misalign during an onside kick attempt by AI controlled team. Fixed an issue causing the coach can't play art to display incorrectly on strong open slot zone alert bubble. Fixed an issue causing missed handoff when using an audible to end around plays. Tuning to improve pass leading down on slant route. So I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, pass leading down. Sometimes your quarterback will just throw it to, to the other side of the field. It's insane, man. Uh, they should have tuned. What I think they should have tuned right here, because now we're out of gameplay updates. They didn't tune contains or, or, or nerf them. So Big Dime 146 is still going to be the issue. It's still going to be the meta defense against the pass. They did nerf the run game a little bit. We're going to have to test it just to see. I'm going to have to go run heavy on one game just to see what I can get done. I'll probably have to use another account. Not my competitive account. No way. But another account just to test it out, see what's going on. Because I'm probably going to lose the game if it really is nerfed. But I want to just play the game running. You know what I'm saying? Play a few games just running and just see. Because I know how far I can get uh, with the previous version of madden but with the new version of madden I, I just don't know ultimate team updates added functionality for players to get currency refunds for superstar abilities zone abilities and chemistry okay that's pretty cool all superstar abilities zone abilities and chemistries will be eligible for a 90 percent refund at all times this is huge players can choose to manually go and refund individual abilities chemistries the refund will happen automatically when downgrading an item 
After refunding, the ability of chemistry will need to be purchased again should you choose to re-equip it. This is huge, man, because people were complaining that if you bought abilities, you should have those abilities unlocked no matter what you do. Or at least if you kept the power-up card, you should still have those abilities on that card. But what happens is, is when you downgrade, you lose everything and you have to rebuy everything. So you don't even get the training back. You don't get nothing back. You're pretty much screwed. And now, you know, you got to come out the pocket even some more. Now, this is a very good thing by EA and Madden to offer this right here because if they didn't or they didn't figure out another a way to do it, man, people were just going to call them scam. I mean, they're technically, they're still in it for the money. The business model works. There's a lot of people that are out there that are buying, 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 buying packs. And if you're in the business to make money, then they're doing it right, man. But at least they're they're helping people that are that realize it. You know, there's people with horse blinds on out there, bro. But there's people that see what's going on. And so they're offering an option for that. So that's good. All right. So added functionality to prevent points from improperly being awarded in specific house rules when a penalty is committed. Okay, okay. Updates to Mutt Draft Coach Round. I guess they're assuming that like when people go off sides and stand in front of the QB or whatever, I guess that, that's what they're talking about. Updates to Mutt Draft Coach Round. An additional coach round has been added at the end of the draft with the option to choose a new playbook. Wow, okay, so that's pretty cool. Choose one of three playbooks in the first round, then have the option to choose a new playbook from three new coaches in the final round for a total of six playbook options. Increases chance of getting a particular playbook from 9.38 to 18.75. All right, player likeness updated from Mutt Legend Rod Gronkowski. Player likeness update from Mutt Legend Calvin Johnson. Snoop Dogg added as an icon to the Superstar KO draft pool. Additional legendary players added to the Superstar KO draft pool. So you have these players, uh, just more superstars, and then additional presentation has been added. So different things they did to Superstar KO. I don't really play that mode uh, because the rewards just aren't there. If there was good rewards in Superstar KO for Ultimate Team, I would have grinded that and just built my Ultimate Team that way. But uh, as of right now, probably just go back to Draft Champions and play that. Uh, because they're trying to fix the game. I see it. It's cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if this is a W or L. I'm going to chalk it down as a W. The only thing that I see that they didn't do was they didn't nerf contains, which means if they did nerf the run game to where it's very, it's, it's harder to run, you're still going to have to face that big dime 146, homies. I'm sorry. All right, man. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Love you guys, man. Peace.